All right, guys, quick rundown. Nitro RC, if you're thinking about buying one, if you have one, you know that they're a lot of work. But they don't have to be. There's a few simple things after you run your car or truck that you need to do that'll keep all the problems at bay. I'm going to show them to you real quick. Come check it out. What do you guys know about that? Here's a T-Max 3.3 Nitro. I'm going to try to go through this quick. First things first, take your fuel can, if you have one, suck all the remaining fuel out of your tank. Put it back into your nitro container. Next, come over here to your head. This has your piston down inside it and your glow plug. Remove the glow plug wire. Then, get your tool of choice. Go down onto your glow plug, spin counterclockwise, and remove your glow plug. Pull that out. If you don't have any, go to your RC shop, get some after-run nitro oil. Two or three drops down on top of your piston is all. So you got your oil down in here already, two or three drops. You come over here, take that loose, pull your air filter off. Then, preferably WD-40, I use Schaefer's. This is just a, a lubricating oil that gets rid of moisture at the same time. Put a squirt, squirt right down in here in your carburetor. Then you come over here, put your ignition source on and crank it. That's all you gotta do right there. You can turn your controller on and Pull the throttle so it opens up the carburetor a few times and release it while you're cranking it over. And that sucks that penetrating oil down into the carburetor and expunges any moisture that you have. <laughs> and I guess last but not least, air filter. Outer and there's an inner filter in here. Take it apart, take it inside, soap it, wash the soap off and get it clean, dry it and then apply foam filter oil to it. And I guarantee you, you do those steps, you'll have no problem with your model lasting a long time. Oh yeah, and subscribe to the channel.